Hey guys, it's Natalie again for the warm up with Barmy Army, and I'm here with Reese. Reese is a big West Ham women fan. Reese, tell us a bit about your girls and what got you into them. Um, so we, our first uh, season in the WSL was a professional team. Um, was last year. Uh, it, it was a magical season for both uh, players and fans by um, <coughs> ending it. Uh, by walking out uh, at Wembley in front of 40,000 in an unexpected um, FA Cup final. I think one game that will probably uh, live with me for the rest of my life as a West Ham women's fan would be um, the FA Cup yeah. semi-final. Uh, uh, it was against Reading. Yeah. Uh, it was a penalty shootout and Cho So Young scored um, the winning goal. Uh, with, so it's been... It, it was a crazy season mm. um, and for us now I think it's more about um, building as a team in the league becoming uh, sustainable in terms of we need to be in, in the WSL um, every season and then there's a pressure uh, on the team um, now but talking about uh, this season uh, it was looking uh, positive towards uh, the start of the season we was unlucky not to get a draw away to Arsenal I was there we played fantastic throughout, throughout the 90 minutes. So I'm sure you'll agree with us, Natalie. I think yeah, we, yeah. we were unlucky not to get a point. It was a good game. Didn't you like hit the post a couple of times? And didn't you have like one, like, what was it, an indirect free kick? And I thought, whoa, what's, you know, this league is competitive, you know? Yeah, it, it was an indirect uh, free kick. And uh, mm-hmm. Kenza Dali, I was actually in line with that. I think uh, yeah. Zinsberg saved it um, and it hit the bar. Yeah. But, but, um, like I said, I think, you know, at the start of the season, it was positive. But uh, the last, well, two weeks mainly, coming back from the international break, um, we played some of our best football on Sunday um, against Reading for 60 minutes. We had the advantage of uh, 10 players and then it, it yeah. all went um, downhill. So I think we're un- as a team now, we're under pressure to get a result against you guys on Sunday. Um, I I've, I've personally have been really impressed uh, with Manchester United this season, I, I think they've actually surprised me with how well they're doing. Yeah. Uh, I think Casey's uh, a great manager with a great knowledge of uh, of the women's game, and I, I can see you winning a cup competition this year. Hopefully, hopefully, because I think that's our only hope. Um, obviously, I think the top three are going to be what they are. You, mm-hmm. You'd like to see someone break into it, but maybe it's a bit too early. But I definitely think, like what you said, the start of this league, it started so. Everyone was so close. We went close with City. Spurs went close with Chelsea. Obviously, you and West Ham, and there was other tight games. I think as it's getting on, teams like Chelsea, like yeah, Arsenal, are winning big, and uh, you know they're they've got massive squads. I've noticed. I heard it on the radio as well that you know you only had four players on the bench. Is it injuries? Is it like you said, the international break coming in, disrupting that rhythm that you are building? What's what's? Uh, what do you think? What do you think happened? Well, it, it's it's mainly um, injuries that uh, players have um, picked up uh, on international um, duty. We've also got um, players through the back end of last season that that have uh, picked up long term injuries, um, and it's affecting the squad um, yeah. now. But one thing I will say is uh, Matt Beard. Uh, last year actually coped with that um, really well. We had the same spell at this stage of the season yeah. last year and we seem to um, carry through. But I think that's what makes January so important for us now to um, add not only players that are going to be in and around the squad, but players uh, um, of quality. Yeah. Uh, I saw your tweet earlier today. Uh, something that's got us really excited is the possibility of signing um, any Aluko. We're all crossing... Yeah. Um, our fingers for that because for us that's the next level attracting these type of players I think with her you know you would think yeah Spurs but I think like you say West Ham are a bit more established so you'd think that she will go to a West Ham a growing club um, they look after their players and the fans and really quite well with what they're doing so I mean you can see what they are actually doing through that documentary we got a little <laughs> cameo on it um, and I'm sure like other West Ham's got ca- fans got cameos on it. And it, it was really good. You can see that u- unitedness between, you know, the chairman, because it's his son, really. So, he, he, you know, obviously we played before. 
that was then. I think we were very, very hungry for it then. I'm not saying we're not going to be as hungry now, but I can see it being a different game. Um, maybe very tight and close, but then maybe one team might might break away and get some goals. What do you think of, of Sunday's? Uh, I think this is a game um, <clears throat> where both sides uh, are near enough uh, in terms of uh, of the season. They're both in uh, the same boat that we want to develop as an FAWSL team. Um, I think both sides will be very similarly looking at a cup run as well. But uh, on the game on Sunday, we're also at the opposite ends um, of form where we've been on a, a bad run of form. And I mean, you guys have, have been consistent all season. Uh, but one thing we do sh- we do struggle with as a team is getting results at rush screen. Yeah. And I think that could play um, into your hands. I think uh, I'll be interested to see uh, how Casey uh, sets up because uh, I was interested to see Sigsworth was on the uh, bench last Sunday. So I, I personally think it will be two banks of uh, four with uh, Sigsworth and um, Lauren James up front, who I have to say Lauren James is one of my favourite players in the WSL. I think she's uh, phenomenal. Uh, but for us, we, we have to get a result. We've been playing attractive football uh, with the back five, which I think uh, will set up. And I, I can see this game actually ending up as a draw. Mm. I think in terms of us, I think we have been playing a 4-2-3-1, but then we've played 4-4-3. And I think last game, Brighton, it was back to the 4-3-3. And Zach, uh, Jackie and Zellen were dominating. I mean, yeah, it is Brighton. It's going to be a lot tougher. It is away from home. Lauren came off with a slight knock, so I'm hoping that she's all right. But I've seen pictures that she does look all right. Uh, we would like to see, a lot of fans would like to see Jess through the middle. Um, but with Hansen and Leah on the either wing, that's where I think we've been getting all our joy. So I think Leah either from the left or Hansen from the right and then whipping balls in. And that's where you do want to see Jess. But Lauren has been doing bits, as you say, she's been... She's been uh, sending defenders left, right and centre and then blasting them in. So if she is fit, I expect Lauren to be playing. But if not, yeah, I want to see uh, Jess down the middle and I think it'll be pretty much the same team. Casey's even said we did so well in the Cup, but this is the team that's been winning in the league. And I think even though we lost to Chelsea, it was a very tight game. It was only a penalty. And I think she's giving that team time and that team is building for us. Um, who would you say then to United fans is a player like we could watch out for? I know you've got some good new players. I can't say a name. That one, you, you, you know who I mean? Jacinta Galabaracci. Yeah, that's the one. I know everyone when she signed for you was saying, "Wow, this girl, this girl," you know. So who's the players that we should be watching? Jacinta's um, definitely one of them. Um, yeah. She's a brilliant player. She uses her size uh, really well gets in uh, gaps, unlocks defences. And it was actually one of the reasons we played so well on Sunday. Um, but for me, one of the most underrated players uh, in this league for me is um, Leanne Kiernan. Uh, okay. she's, she's a brilliant player. She's fast, pacey, uh, can play any role uh, in, a, in attack. We normally do stick through up front and, you know, uh, one thing that we did on Sunday really well that I think we could also execute against um, you guys is mm. <clears throat> Lehman and Kieran were switching uh, but centre forward roles really well. So we became a bit unpredictable and that's what got us our two goals um, against Reading. But yeah, Leanne Kiernan for me, I think she, you know, she, she is one of the most underrated players in this league. And uh, she, she's loved by the West Ham fans as well. Brilliant. I mean, that's one to watch, Reds. So I know you went for a draw. Are you going to say the 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 score the score line then? Uh, I think you know with, with the way we've been playing, I think it's going to be high scoring. I'll probably go two all. I think two all. I think. I mean, we've got on a good run. United keeping clean sheets could come to an end, but. Maybe say 3-2 United. That's what I'm going to go for. It's going to be a good game. Look forward. I know our fans are looking forward to coming down to Rush Green. Um, tickets are coming through now for the Reds. And obviously they can buy on the day as well. 
Um, no, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good game. See you down there. See you after, maybe. See how it goes. See who scoreline comes in. Yeah, definitely. But let's just uh, hope uh, for, for a West Ham win on Sunday because we desperately need one. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope not. <laughs> but, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. And enjoy the visit to Rush Green on Sunday. Thanks a lot. See you soon.